Hi, Eagles everywhere. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with Eagles second round draft pick Jalen Hurts. Jalen, uh, good to see you. Um, I want to start with something a little bit unusual. I saw in your bio that you were starstruck once when you met Kobe Bryant. So I wonder when you walked into the Eagles locker room and you saw the Kobe rules, what was your reaction? Well, I just, I just um, actually saw it recently. And um, I mean, it doesn't get no better than Kobe. Um, I think the, the legacy he left will live forever, and I admire him in so many ways. I, I got the Ali shirt on as well, so I obviously I love some Muhammad Ali, some Michael Jordan, and I love those guys, the mentality they had. I loved it. Yeah, how would you describe that mentality? And, and do you feel like you share that, you know, that quote-unquote sports-wise killer mentality? Growing up as a kid, you, you see, you know, um, what greatness looks like. You just strive to, to be the best version of yourself every day, and like many other athletes around the world, we've been blessed with a lot of great people we can look up to, a lot of great people who can set the right example and who have, and who have left, like I said, many legacies. And um, Three guys that I, I love dearly are, are Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali, and, and Kobe Bryant. Love it. Jalen, you walked into a new situation in high school, and you conquered it. You walked into a new situation at Alabama, and you conquered it. You walked into a new situation at Oklahoma, and you conquered it. You're doing the same thing here. What is the mentality that you have going to a new environment and establishing yourself as a person, as a teammate, and also as a quarterback? Yeah, you talked about that and, you know, the high school, college, and the different things that, you know, I've had to conquer. I think I've had values that I've always had, values from a little kid that that have never changed. And um, I carry those with me everywhere I go. And the biggest thing for me right now is just improving every day, pushing myself every day, soaking everything in, and setting the right example for my peers and just taking those steps. In college, you have to master a game plan, a playbook. How different is the Eagles playbook just in terms of the volume of information that you have to learn? Is it an amazing difference? Is it a tremendous difference? It's a different deal. You know, I think we have a lot of great coaches. We, I have great people around me that, that help me with that adjustment. So, you know, we're, we're starting to kind of crank it up and get rolling now. So I'm just excited to continue to work with those guys. Jalen, did it require you coming to Philadelphia to really sink in that you're a member of this football team? Or were you able to kind of experience that during the draft weekend and then throughout the off season? You know, I'm, I, I'm very excited to be here. I just recently signed, so I'm just um, I've always been about the next thing. I'm just ready to work and working really hard now and building relationships with my teammates and, and we're working. So that, that's, that's what's most important to me. Jalen, what part of your game do you feel like you really want to work on and improve the most? You know, I think that comes with comfort of the system you're in. You know, when you talk about comfort, that goes back to how knowledgeable you are of everything. Do you know what you're supposed to do with the ball? Do you know your reads, your checks, and all those things? So... Just, just growing in that, getting a better understanding of what's going on, and hopefully at some point, uh, knowing it like the back of my hand. Jalen, how has the cooperation been with Carson and with Nate and with Kyle? I know it was a virtual setting, but in that quarterback room, how helpful have they been for you just taking those first baby steps into the NFL? It's just been great to, to hear, hear their perspectives on the game and, and the offense we run, kind of hearing – you know, his thoughts and, and his thoughts and then hearing Coach say it and um, putting them all together, you know, just soaking all that in. Um, and it's been great. It's been, it's, it's been a very good deal for me. Have you looked up Doug Peterson from his days as an NFL quarterback? <laughs> Would you tell me something I don't know? Well, I'll tell you that in Philadelphia against the Eagles at Veterans Stadium, Doug Peterson was the quarterback who won Don Shula's record-breaking game. Did you know mm. that? I didn't know that. Yeah, so so he's got some respect, no doubt about it. Last one for you, Jalen. We talked about this on the Eagles Insider podcast earlier, but it was such a great story, and I would like you to tell it again if you could. Pulling on that jersey number two um, and, and what that number two has meant to you in your football career. No, I, I wore number two in high school due to my brother. Looked up to my brother, and um, I learned a lot from him, and uh, we still talk daily about ball and just life and um, we, we have a, a, a very special relationship and I wear that number because of him you know I, I, I wore it at Alabama and 
end up wearing the number one um, my last year at Oklahoma, and now um, I'm back to the basics. Number two quarterback, Philadelphia Eagles. Second round draft pick, Jalen Hurts. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to see you. Good luck in training camp. I hope everything goes the way you want it. Thank you, sir.